I like to introduce the project with these few slides <coughs> to contextualize uh, the project in, in location and, and also in, in the moment we are living. No? This is a, a map of Barcelona, Catalonia in the 19th century showing the development of the, of the railway around, along the river Llobregat. You can see Barcelona in the bottom and on the left part, Igualada. It's the city where the project is located. If the 19th century was the century of the railway, next year, of course, the century of the, of the, of the optimal, of the, of the car. And nowadays, you know, in, in this new century, it seems that we are rediscovering the slow mobility. You know? We like to run, we like to, to ride our bicycles, and it, this is another project in which we are working right now, and I hope that Van Design will publish <laughs> someday. It's called the Las Villas Blavas. The, the, it's like the, the blue path. It's a, 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 a cycling infrastructure that follows the river all along the, the river Llobregat from the beginning to the end. And this is where we are now. We are, at least in Spain, we are developing a lot of infrastructure for running, for the bike. And in this context, also the cities are developing his own green rings. Barcelona has his own one, and Igualada is developing his own green ring. In this context is where the project starts. Here you see the city of Igualada, about 60 kilometers from, from Barcelona with the river Anoya and you know, the local streams. And this is at the site of the project. No? It, it's a segment of one kilometer among the 17 uh, kilometers of the, of the whole uh, green ring. This is an historical image of the, of the project. And this, this path, you know, this segment is located over the mountains with a magnificent views over the, over the city. And it's, uh, no, a section in that period would be like that, with the city, the small, and the natural side, the mountain, completely virgin. But at that moment, they discovered that these mountains were rich in gypsum. So they start no, extracting all these materials. And in a few years, the final result was uh, this flat platform completely abandoned over the, over the city. So let me tell you some data about the, this project because it's actually it's a, a very tiny project. It's just a project of 300,000 uh, euros, not fees, but the, for the construction. And it's not the, the two main objectives of the project was to ensure the continuity in, in the, of the green ring in this, in this area. But also we thought it was the chance to modify the conditions of the site in order to improve eventually you know, the, this, this site. Not for the fact that being a humble project, it's, uh, you don't have to lose the ambition to improve uh, everything you touch. Let's talk about the, you know, what has been said you know, about the recognition of the values of the place, you know, the most important things. Here there, there was some trouble in this in this area. It was a completely ab ab abandoned site with no, it's like a terrain back, uh, like a known place with no, uh, nothing being done for, for the last three decades. With some trouble with rock falls from erosion. A completely lack of, uh, of uh, no runoffs of the water that damaged the existing uh, paths. But also, it has some uh, opportunities. No? It, its position over the city gave uh, great views over the city, but also, at the end of the, of the path, great views over Montserrat. Montserrat is a very iconic mountain in Catalonia. It's where we place uh, our most lovely virgin, La, Mur La Muraneta. And it's a pilgrimage place, and so it's really, it's really symbolic for us, this, this place. Also, if you, look, being, if you look careful to the side, 
you, we, we discovered a small natural heritage you know, that some pine woods that had remained all the uh, gypsum extraction or a small agricultural activity you know, with some olive trees and almond trees. Also, this artificial topography had, has also, it's, it's very magnificent, and it's the, we have the chance to revalue these, these, these artificial cliffs. And that's the project. It's just, it's just a section of three main strips, you know, the central one, you know, the, main, the main path along the, along the site, an interior strip for the water management to control rainwater, to um, take advantage of this water in order to irrigate the site. And then on, in the edge of the platform, this kind of linear lookout. No? It's the whole path is a, it's a viewpoint that we stretch in this kind of concrete strip all along the, all along the path. So here you are the, the, main, no? the floor plan of the, of the path that plays with the existing areas, the, the existing trees uh, underlining the main views. Here are this, the interior strip, no? the, the, the green ditch is just a, a ditch, but in order to slow down, slow down the water to let them infiltrate in the, in the earth, we built a sequence of retaining walls that were built with those rock falls from erosion. This, we built this sequence of retaining walls. Then the main, the main path, it's a, a, a gravel regular path, but in coordination with the city council, at the same moment that we were building the, the path, they were, renew, um, were rebuilding a lot of uh, streets. They were removing asphalt. So instead of putting them, put this, this uh, scratch asphalt to a, a lace one field, what we did is to recycle this, all this uh, asphalt as a base, as a base of the pattern because it's, it's structure, uh, structurally it's, it's, it's good for, for this kind of use. Finally, this linear lookout is built as a 1.2 meter strip of concrete that plays with the edge of the platform looking for the best views playing with existing trees, but also has a, another function because it improves the accessibility of the path, looking for uh, all kind of people to be able to uh, walk the path. Along the, along the path, not all, I mean, you have views over the city along the path, but there are special points where you, there are better places, better views, that we, we wanted to underline, but we have few money. And we found this ordinary, mm, tough, uh, precast concrete uh, corp that uh, allowed us to create these long benches. And at the same time, Putting them in different situations, we could solve also the, the overflow points of the water. Doing this kind of game, no? this is a, a, a viewpoint located in the olive zone where you have a bench, you can rest, you transform the, the path in a, in a, in, in a small park and then you solve always the, the trouble of water. And the whole together, we, have, we now have, you know, this, this is the situation uh, after a few months, in the first spring, we can see very clearly the three strips of the ski section. We ensure the continuity of the path, creating new rest areas over the city, And nature has start doing its job because if we, once you store water, infiltrate it, 
and nature that uh, do a lot of work. Then we like with with image with this image we like to say that uh, even although we just do this line no, this this path we have achieved a global change in, in, in site. It's not necessary to touch everything on a site to achieve this, this global change. Then at the end of this path, it's, you know, uh, and in order to underline these views over Montserrat, there is a small structure, uh, a final viewpoint that flies you know, with a, a cantilever over the mountain and over the views of, of Igualada. This is funny because um, Igualada, once every year, holds the European Balloon Festival. And this, all this viewpoint, no, this, this path, has become the best tribune to see the, the show. Then when the net comes, you start looking at the, at the concrete strip and you realize it has something weird. And that's because the, in, in the composition of the concrete there are this kind of uh, luminescent arid, this, these stones that keep the energy of the of the sun during the, the day and reflect. No, it's, they bright during the night. It's not light; it's just a subtle effect that guides you through the night along the along the path. Thank you very much.